What's up? What's happening? What's popping? What's going on? What's hanging, YouTube? It's your boy, New Cybot. Yet another map I'm working on for all you haters to hate on and all my friends to enjoy and love and play. Now, this map is a zombie based map. It is not complete yet. Let me repeat myself. It is not complete. It is not complete. Once again, it is not complete. For those of you that's hard of fucking hearing, it is not complete. Same shit I said on fucking De Niro's and other people were saying, oh, where the fuck the floor is at? This shit is stupid. What the hell? Because it wasn't done yet. I said it like 19 times. Say it again. This is not complete. One more time. I know I'm irritating you, but people can't hear on YouTube. This is not complete. Now, this is a zombie-based map. It's called uh, Hunted Castle, but I'm changing the name to Zombie uh, Castle or whatever, or Zombie Palace or Manor or anything like that. You know, because it's a zombie-based game. And basically, everybody spawned out here that's not a zombie. You spawn out here. The zombies spawn totally somewhere different. And they choose out of six or eight teleports that teleport them randomly inside this castle or mansion, whatever you want to call it. Um, the stairs are right here. You go up the stairs. You know, the door is open. Go on in. It's going to have a chandelier hanging down right here. Stairs going up to both sides. This door is not going to be right here. But you're still going to have these doors to the right and left. 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 Right here, you see there's no floor right here. Yeah, I still got to work on some stuff. Got a lot to work on. I'm running out of bricks. I'm making, it's a big ass house. Plus, it's, a, it's mazes, or it's a maze inside this house. But anyway, it's just the first floor. You know, it's going to be like a little bit of something right here. And then, it's going to be this other part right here where you can go down to the basement. And, you know, have a couple little gameplay elements right here. And also, make it to where people can fall their ass off right there by... You know, getting trapped some kind of way or something like that. I don't know. But, um, yeah, that's the first floor in the basement. And then the um, top floor, you can go through either one of these three doors. And you have the maze of death. And the zombies can spawn four places inside this maze. So... Okay, so you see those ones right there on the side? Those are how many blocks I can build. I can build one of either one of these blocks right here. I mean, I'm out of building blocks. You don't know what the building block is? That's like this right here, or this, or like something like that, you know? So, as you can see, there's a lot to this map. And it still ain't complete yet, so don't be all saying, oh, it don't look complete. It's not, the roof isn't on, and some a couple of walls ain't up still. Yeah, haters, I can hear you already. I hear you, haters. Go ahead, go ahead and type. Go ahead and write your comments down below. Go ahead and talk shit. Go ahead. And what you're looking at is the upper floor. That's not even counting the mid floor, plus the basement. Okay, people, so now my map is 100% complete. Now, before I say anything about my map or any kind of gameplay elements I got on this map, I want to give a big-ass, huge, humongous shout-out to Bad News 929, all lowercase letters, 929 at the end, nothing separated, Bad News 929. Big shout-out for people like him to put a, a YouTube video on YouTube on how to make a, a infection game mode on a Forge map. Now, on any other standard map from Bungie is doable, it's easy. But on a forge map, you have to go through some different you know, boundaries to get to it. And his picture quality inside his video wasn't the best, but his information was spot on, so that all that's all that matters. So big shout out to Bad News 929. I told you I was gonna shout you out. Love you dude for that. And stay on top of your shit. Everybody check his ass out. Subscribe, rate his videos, even if you don't like the video, rate his videos, all of them. Cause this clip right here are, is two days after the clips that you've seen inside the same video. So I had technical difficulties. So without further ado, as you see, I got my spawn camera, got my visual effects. It's nighttime. Got the uh, regular enemies or people spawning out here, should I say. Got some kill zones, soft kill zones, because I want people to stay out here and be camping and waiting for the zombies to come out because it's defe it defeats the whole purpose. I know some people are going to be scared to go in, but hey, you have to. So you work your way up these stairs. That red light brings some, you know, spookiness to it. And once you hit through the, go through the door, you know, you see a, sp and depending on where the zombies or what teleport the zombies to choose to go through, they can come right out through that teleport right there. You turn around and run back outside. No, sir. You can't do it. 
So it forces you to either run through this door that way and panic or run through that door that way. I hurry up and make it up the stairs. The zombie runs about like 75% of the actual speed. So, you know, runs a little bit slow. But fast enough. Um, over here, if you go this way. At first, I had a light hanging down from right here. And I had to take it out so I can make it a uh, chandelier. But once I took it out and I had it nighttime already, I was like, oh, man, this look exactly like nighttime. I got to leave it like this. Fuck that red light. That red light can go. Because now it looks even more creepier like this. You go over here. You work your way over here. You can actually see the zombies down here inside the little facility through this glass. And you can see which way they're going. So if we learn how the spawns work and which spawns are which, you can actually look at this and know which spawn they're about to come out of. There's six of them. I'm not going to show you all of them. And if you see this red light blinking right here, that's the basement. And I swear to God, if I didn't make this map myself, I would not go down here. If I was on somebody else's map, I've never seen this map in my life, I would not go down here. I'm not about to go down here right now because I am i don't want to spoil anything. But um, if you guys play this map, if you go down there, it may be a payoff. It may not. It all depends on you. That's the basement. So, whew, man, I just... Man, I would not go down there if this was somebody else's map. I've never seen this map before. But anyways, up here, have some more see-through glass. And you, all the, all the uh, players spawned with nothing. No sprint, no hologram, no nothing. So there's some uh, different energy uh, or um, armor ability stuff hidden throughout the uh, mansion or whatever. It's called Zombie Mansion. And it's another one up over here. And as well on the other side. Now, of course, I already know where to go because I'm the one that made this maze. It's a simple maze, but once you're actually inside of it and not zoomed out looking at it, then it's a whole different story. So, yeah. And then, see, this brings you right here to, to these stairs. You can go either that way, that way. All these three doors at the top lead to the same place. You can still circle around, go through the, go through the other doors. This way, this over here brings you to the balcony, which overlooks the outside area. That's the only way you can get back outside. The only way. There's no other way. And there's no point in you getting back outside, and the zombies can come up here too and, and jump down and, and all that. So, as you can see, it's dark. That's how it's meant to be. Now, that concludes my map. This map is made from scratch. It's no building, no, I didn't use no buildings, I used every, nothing but building blocks. And a couple of tunnels, that's it. Everything else is made out of building blocks, walls, and windows. That's it. So, um, I hope you guys, uh, too bad, if you watch this video as soon as I post it, or two days after I post it, you're not going to be able to play this map until the 19th, because my Xbox Live, uh, account is suspended. It's suspended to the 19th. If you want to know more about that, check out my video on my YouTube channel. But it's suspended to the 19th. So you guys won't be able to play this until then. But I cannot wait to test this out with some friends. Everything worked fine. I actually spent two hours straight. This is after I set up everything. And after I watched that dude's video and set up everything perfectly fine. Even after that, I sat here two hours working out the kinks. Working out every little detail of how I want the enemy's health to be. The speed. And everything as far as the regular uh, characters and everything. Everybody start with pistols. No special abilities. No unlimited ammo. So it forces you to go find stuff. You know, this is a big ass mansion. Not bigger than the way I wanted it to be. Uh, originally wanted it to be. But it's big enough. Has hidden passageways. Hidden this. Hidden that. So, can't wait. Peace out. And I'm out of here.